Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog where sometimes I film what me and this little one get up to on a weekly basis, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be putting together some IKEA furniture stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a fun little build along vlog with us. A little bit of time spent at home with this little one. It's worth knowing at this point that uh, I am very aware that I'm building something in front of a door. It's it's intentional. I've had a I've had a blind put up in that doorway for the longest time and I've never opened it. So okay. we figured that it might as well make use of the space and, and build this thing here. So I know it, don't panic in the, in the comment section. If I want to move it, I could just move the thing. It's really easy, so don't worry about that. We're recording this in the future. We've already done it. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Um, make sure you leave in the comment section below what you think and uh, we'll catch you guys later. So time to go on with it. Yeah. All right, well, today uh, I want to change this setup because this curtain here, uh, which has been behind me for the longest time, I'm kind of fed up with it. And now, if you remove the curtain, you can see that there is a blackout blind behind it. And when I stream here, obviously the camera kind of points to here. And I'm kind of getting tired of this whole curtain situation. And obviously, behind the blind uh, is, is, a, is, a door, is a door, uh, just like these doors over here. But uh, what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to get like a book or shelving that basically fits in the door frame and then in the actual glass, uh, I'm going to put blinds. And those blinds are called into Venetian blinds. Now, I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to get right now, but the essential thing is, is it just goes in the glass. So it doesn't cover the door and the door can still open and stuff like that. But uh, it will basically stop the light coming in, which is exactly what I want. And then, like I said, this is kind of what I want to go in this door frame. So I'm going to get these shelves, uh, which are a little bit too big. So I'm going to have to kind of trim a little bit off. Uh, but these should fit in this door space perfectly. And then, oh, I forget that I can use ultra wide while my arm looks well weird. Uh, so it should fit in this door space really nicely. There'll be a slight gap on the side here, which is fine. Uh, and then obviously we could, I've got the washing baskets, which I'll probably slot in there and stuff like that. But it means that when when I'm streaming and my camera's like up here and I'm live, you'll actually be able to see a nice bookshelf behind me. I'll have lighting and then all of these things like I've got on the shelves up here, I'll be able to put on the bookshelf behind me. And it'll be a bit more of a stream feature because right now, excuse the mess, but when I'm streaming, uh, like everything that I have is in front of me. Like I've got my guitars there, like obviously like my poses and stuff like that. And then all of the stuff that I collect on shelves photos and stuff like that my trophy that's there all of these things i can see them but my stream can't so that's the plan for today build a bookshelf and uh, wait for the blinds oh and i think we'll go for a walk did we go for a walk no oh. mm -hmm. maybe we won't go for a walk mm -hmm. we did go for a walk and i decided to film it as a little bonus members video because I've started doing videos a week early for people who are members of the channel. I really appreciate you, so thank you very much for supporting the channel. But you'll start to notice when you go to my channel, there is member-only videos here, and there's going to be vlogs appearing in this section. Now, these vlogs are straight up just, maybe I've been to these places before, me and family just go for a walk, and they're just short little, literally short little vlogs of what I get up to and stuff like that. Those little moments, those little vlogs will end up going into members-only sections, just to give a little bit of an extra thanks to those people who go the extra mile. Don't worry, it's not like anything crazy that you feel like you might be missing out on. Anything that I do new or like family experience and stuff like that will always just be a public vlog for everyone to see. But like when I just want to chat and just catch up with what's going on, there'll be little member videos there. So anyway, back to the vlog. All right, we have arrived at the first spot, which is somewhere I've not been in a while, home base. Because recently we got one of those Philips Hue bulbs that you control with Alexa. And uh, this one uh, needs a new light switch for his light, so. Where exactly would they be? Well, that was easy enough. This is exactly what we're looking for. I think just the plain white one will do. I also think because I want to add lights and stuff like that behind on the bookshelf and stuff, I think an extension lead from my desk to where that's going to go should do the job. All right, well, with the equipment acquired and a workout at the gym and a shop later, uh, our IKEA uh, bookshelf thing ha has arrived. Time to move it. There we go. All right, three big boxes and three little boxes later. I think we can do this first because Benjamin wants to do that. So this is the light that needs to come off the wall because we got a new hue bulb that uh, now needs a light switch rather than a knob. Right, with the electric turned off, I just need to take this out, which is really easy to do. And then lift it up. Oh, don't lose the screws. And then all we have to do is take these wires out. This is the world's easiest thing to do, by the way. 
I'm sure there's a bunch of uh, like electricians at home absolutely creasing themselves at watching me do this. But I mean, DIY. No one actually taught me how to do this. I kind of just common sense learned on my own. Figured it was simple enough. Uh, something that I didn't realize is that the faceplate comes off so you can screw that in. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. I was well confused at first where to put the screws, but that comes off. So you hold that, Benji. And then it should be as simple as screwing it in. Now, I don't know how electricians do not lose their brains over this because this is well annoying. I'm sure there's a trick to this, but yeah. finding the box behind is so annoying. It's the one thing I hate about wall sockets in general. All right, well, with that screwed on, this should, in theory, just clip back on there, he says. Right, and then I need to turn the fuses back on at the lovely thing on the wall, which is yellow and gross. Down to smoking. Don't smoke indoors, kids. It's bad for you. And uh, honestly, quitting was one of the best things I ever did. But ta-da. So now, hey, Google, turn Benjamin's light off. Oh, it works. And with that fancy technology over and done with, it is now time to clear the living room and uh, <laughs> build a big bookshelf. All right, I guess first things first, we just start opening the boxes and see what's inside. So I guess we'll set up a little bit of a time lapse and unbox everything. One big jigsaw later, which was a lot tiring than it may look. I have now got several manuals, all the same thing, Billy. Where from what I can tell, it's two separate ones that get put together, I think. However, after reading a bit more and the fact that there are three backs to this and obviously six of these things that are gonna go upright, I think I get three of them that stand next to each other. But one of the main concerns I've actually had with this is I've intentionally ordered something that was too tall to trim it down to fit in this space. So it's meant to go in this gap, as you can see the ceiling goes just there, but this gap all the way down to here is where these are gonna go. So I'm gonna set you up just like here and uh, we're gonna see if it fits. Now, watch out, buddy. This is the current situation. Yeah, Literally wrapped to my leg. Again, yeah, again. attached all the time. <laughs> Makes building things so much easier. You're not gonna believe it, but I kind of had a feeling there's like no gap at the top. Because as you saw when I opened up on the time lapse, I had three smaller boxes, and I have a feeling that those three smaller boxes probably sit on top at the very top shelf because that's what it kind of looked like in the diagram that I saw. As you see here, when you look at this, you've got the shelf that goes all the way up, but then there's this line here and here and i always thought when i was buying when i bought this that there's like maybe this top bit comes off and thankfully it does so theoretically i should be able to build this slot it straight in there and have a tiny gap at the top which i'm completely fine with so luckily we don't have to go back to home base and buy that saw but right time to turn all of these bits into a bookshelf somehow yeah. ready <laughs> let's set the time lapse back up and see if i can do it It's three bookshelves, completely built. Now all I need to do is pick them up and put them in that doorway. So let's move these baskets out of the way and hopefully these things should fit nicely in this frame. Now, as you guys have already heard me talk about, uh, this blind is gonna go 
and they'll be like in window in glass blinds that will go in its place but for now i'm just gonna leave it there because i can obviously just move the shelves out later on and put the blinds in all right the moment of truth will this fit in this hole that's no surprise it fits perfectly there let's get the other ones in right put this one next to it and the last one all right, well, that actually fits in there perfectly. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, there is obviously a gap at the top and there's a gap there where the curtain's currently cover covering up. There's a tiny gap there, but other than that, it actually looks really good. Now, I'm interested to know if I sit down at my setup and turn the camera on, go to our stream deck and press this lovely button here, and then it should open up my stream, just like that. And then we press this one and my camera's not on one second <laughs> hey there so now when i'm streaming like we'll have i don't know why i'm pointing at that like that but look we'll have uh some bookshelves behind me which i'll obviously put shelves on and put loads of stuff on it this curtain won't be here so you'll literally just see the bookshelf straight away which is kind of cool just realized why i could i, I could have just done that <laughs> just put my camera up here but either way now all it is a case of doing is getting all the bookshelves and putting them in. Now, I have to admit, it's still obviously daytime outside. It's really bright. So I don't actually think I'm going to need the blinds because obviously I've got a big fucking bookcase in the way now. So you can't see anything anyway. Now, obviously, when I remove the curtains and stuff, which I probably will do, I could probably just leave this blind behind it. And the ones that I've ordered for the in glass, I could probably just put in the other door. I, I don't want to dox myself, but yeah, I could probably put them in the, the other doors. Uh, and then I've got, you know, blinds there, which are really nice. One thing I do actually need to do, because obviously, because you can see that I've got a coaster up there at the moment. Uh, these will actually just kind of roll forwards because they're not like, because it's on carpet right now. So it, it will just end up coming forward. So above it, I need to get these brackets uh, and actually put these brackets on top to hold it to the wall. And then it won't kind of fall forwards. So I think we're going to do that and uh, put some shelves back in. So without further ado, let's roll another time lapse. And just like that, I have got the shelves in and I've started to put some of the stuff that I own on the shelves, like all of my Final Fantasy VII stuff. As everyone knows, this is my favorite game of all time. Official copy, all signed, sealed. Well, it's not signed, but it's sealed uh, in a nice case because the uh, it's unwrapped yet. Like, unwrapped the box, I don't know what the word is for that. I've got my lightsaber that I spent far too much money on. Uh, that's now nicely there because it was on top of the TV cabinet before. My Syndicate trophy, my Iron Man master to... Shout out to Physics who made this. He 3D printed that and, and, and sent it to me. It was pretty cool. Got my little mini amp and then my Diablo Immortal stuff. I need to do a little bit more cleaning up with my whole desk and like my shelves are now empty because I've moved them from there to there. That sadly doesn't fit in there, which I'm really good about, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, got a couple of shelves down the bottom that need to be filled in and then Jess is going to put some stuff on there as well. So I'll probably do a lot of reorganizing. But yeah, job well done. I think it's time probably to have a little bit of a break, have some dinner and uh, do some cleaning up because this is uh, a little bit messy. There is literally stuff everywhere. Uh, so let's get that sorted out. All right, it's been a couple days later and it has to be said, but this is a game changer. It actually looks so good. I'm actually really happy with it. Obviously, not every shelf has got something to display on. I've just kind of thrown the things that I do own on there. And as I say over time, I'll probably collect some more things. I'll swap things out on there because I've got like two Diablo Immortal things up there right now because I just had that box sitting in a cupboard for the longest time. So I thought I'd just throw it up on the shelf. And then as you can see, I've got like controllers, like lenses and other bits and pieces just scattered on shelves for the time being. But overall, I think if we pop the zoom out, it actually looks really good. I'm actually, I'm genuinely so happy at how it turned out. And this little thing has come. So if we say, Alexa, turn on the desk lamp. Okay. It should 
<laughs> oh, there we go. It turned it on. There you go. So I've got like a nice light behind me and some like like really nice ambience there because obviously I've got a light in front of me, which is supposed to be a key light. I might actually end up buying a key light for my desk. Because right now I don't actually have a key light. I just have this nano strip like that goes across the front there, which I obviously bought just like all streamers and gamers do, but I never used it. So now I kind of use it as a key light for when I stream in the evenings. And I've got a light behind me. So I'll show you exactly what my stream looks like. I also decided to swap out the lens on my camera. So the quality of my camera has gone up tenfold. So now when you're watching the streams, look how good that camera actually looks. It's genuinely so clean. It catches me. I've got like a nice ambient light like behind my head, like here as well to make me pop. Sorry, I'm really bad at controlling two cameras. But I've got this nice ambient light behind me as well to make me pop from the background. There's a bit of a like a blur on the stuff behind me as well. It's got autofocus, so depending on where I am, it'll actually focus on me and some of this stuff will be able to be seen and stuff like that. But this lens is actually so, so good. For the longest time, I have actually no idea why I didn't use it. I've just, I bought it, I can't even remember how long ago, and I just put it in a box and just forgot to use it. So. I'm so glad that I actually found that when I was like rooting for like the Diablo Immortal box, for example, uh, and I managed to come across that lens and it makes my stream look so much better. And I'm really excited to start streaming with it and uh, and seeing what everyone's reactions to that's gonna be. Now I have to say, like, you can probably tell my eyes butcher. I've, I've caught conjunctivitis off Benjamin. Who is currently having the time of his life collecting things to put on the shelves, as you can see here, Benjamin's that's little shelves at the bottom. That's my toys, that's my toys. Oh, that's where your toys go, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh dear. So yeah, my eye currently is like really, really irritable, which is annoying. I've got some eye drops for it. So hopefully it doesn't stay itchy for too long and I recover, but all the same, I'm actually really stoked with how this turned out. Uh, I think I might actually just leave the curtains there. Because the bookshelf doesn't actually pop out too much, if I ever want to just hide the bookshelf for whatever reason, I can just close the curtains on it and no one can actually see all of my nerdy fun stuff behind there. And I can go back to having a curtain behind me. But did you have fun building it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it really fun? Yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Mine is there down there. Yeah, your toys are on there now as well. But yeah, I, d I don't think I'm going to ever like have to hide it. I honestly like it so much, yeah. so I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. But I think uh, that's going to do it for today. So should we say goodbye? Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I see you. Peace, peace, much love. Bye -bye. We're the two friends. They're nice. Daddy's gonna have an apple. Do you want an apple? No.